So I can now reveal that the judges have made their decision and it is time now to reveal our top five. So in no particular order, our first finalist is Our second finalist is... Go Mad for Philippines! Our third finalist is... Our fourth finalist is... Brazil! Our fifth finalist is... These are our top five, but we can now reveal the winner of our People's Choice Award. Now this is the award voted for by you. The winner of this award will automatically join our final five unless she's already here on stage. So, will our five become a six? Let's find out. The winner of the People's Choice is... So, one of these finalists will be Miss World 2013. I can tell you now, Kamal is with the judges speaking to the very lovely Ken Warwick. Kamal. I certainly am. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm standing in front of a very, very experienced and very important gentleman. He was originally, he was part of the original team that set up Idol. He's currently the executive pr producer for both American Idol and America's Got Talent. He's actually won a Grammy and an Emmy Award for both shows. No, an Emmy and a BAFTA. I've never won oh, a Grammy. An Emmy and a BAFTA. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll stick one there for good, for okay. good fortune. Now, coming, coming from Hollywood, you see beautiful women every single day. Tell me, how do these ladies compare? Um, well, yeah, obviously there are beautiful women in, uh, in Hollywood. The difference is it costs a lot more money to remain beautiful in Hollywood. These are the real deal. These are the natural girls, and this is what I love. They are certainly the real they deal. They certainly are. Tell us, what, what are you in particular? What are you looking for? Um, well, as an old choreographer, I guess, I'm looking for poise and, and grace uh, and charisma. I, I like whatever, whoever the Miss World is, when she walks into a room, I want no to be in any doubt that she is the real deal. She is the girl. Okay, well, I'm trying to figure out what else, what else, what else we want to find out. I mean, it's obviously been a very, very difficult process. It is a difficult process. This year, the girls have been absolutely great. Can you tell us a little bit about what, what the, what is, what's involved in that process? I mean... Um, well, it's not just about, obviously, how they look. It's about what's inside them. And we speak to them and we, uh, we talk to actually all of them throughout the week. Um, they've got to be eloquent because they have to do a lot of public speaking if they become this world. Uh, they've, got to, they've got to have social skills. Uh, and they've got to have a sense of humour and be well grounded. It's a tough job. Uh, so, you know... Any one of those girls actually could carry this off, um, but uh, you know, I think uh, I think we, we've come up with the right choice. I think. Well, I, th I think you will come up with the right choice, and I think we've all we've all been quite happy so far, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ken Warwick. Thank you very much, Ken. 
We now have another very special performance for you. He won the British version, the British version, of X Factor in 2010, and since then he has not looked back. Please welcome Matt Cardle. Thanks, Matt. So, do join us after the break when we'll be saying goodbye to Miss World 2012 and a big hello to a new Miss World. We'll also be finding out more about our finalists. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Miss World 2013 final here at the Nusa Dua Convention Center in Bali, Indonesia. We were lucky enough to see the widest variety of talent ever at a Miss World final. And it's now time to enjoy some of the highlights.
They're a clever bunch. Now, in 15 minutes, we'll soon be crowning a new Miss World. It'll be one of these beautiful ladies. Let's now meet them one at a time, beginning with Miss France. Please step forward, Miss France. Looking very nice. Now, before we go any further, it's a very special evening for all of us this evening because in the audience, we have a very special lady. Her name is Denise Perrier. She was the first, well, she was the first Miss World for France back in 1953, 60 years ago to the day. Please stand up, Denise Perrier. Looking fabulous, might I say. Wonderful. So, maybe a lucky omen to see Miss France there and Miss World in the audience. Now, we're now going to look at your Miss World journey and then give you 30 seconds to tell the judges why you should be Miss World. So, let's find out more about you. I'm 20 years old and I study medicine at the University of Lyon. I would like to become a pediatrician because I care about, uh, really about children. I would like to travel and help them with my, with my degree of medicine. If I'm here today, it's thanks to my grandmother uh, because since I'm young, uh, she told me every time uh, that uh, I'm looking like a Miss France, it was her dream, and uh, when she died the day I had uh, 18, and uh, so I made the promise to her to try to participate, and that's why I'm here uh, today, so I miss, I miss you and love you. Well, Miss France, this is your chance to tell the judges here why you should be Miss World. Now, I know that we have an interpreter here for you as well. Good evening, Indonesia. Good evening, everyone. Um, for me, it will be uh, an honor to become Miss World uh, because it's a very prestigious title and um, especially because I appreciate the fact that Miss World travel a lot and meet people all around the world and try to help them. So um, I think I'm someone natural and generous. That's it. I wish you a good evening. Thank you, France. Next up, let's meet Philippines. Let's look at your journey, shall we, Miss Philippines? If you win. Well, you might have recognised that wasn't you. <laughs> we like to keep our contestants on their toes. In the meantime, you seem to have so much support here, Miss Philippines. What must that feel like? I brought half of my country here, actually. <laughs> Do you know what? I agree with you. I think we have got half of the Philippines here. And on stage as well. <laughs> Mabuhay! Yay. Okay. I think we've found you. Let's have a go again. My main reason for being here today is to represent my country, to show the world that the Filipinos are hardworking. Hey, we, we can do this no matter what happens, no matter what um, crisis we go through. We're willing to help other people. It would be an honor to be a part of the Miss World organization. And I'm sure that the Filipinos will be right behind me. They'll be in the journey to Miss World as well. My mom has really been a big influence to me. Ever since she moved to the States, I have been taking care of my brother and my sister on my own. I just want to really make her proud and show her that even if she's not there, even if my dad isn't there, that, <laughs> that I can take care of them. I miss them a lot. <laughs> Miss Philippines, you're going to make my mascara run. What's going on? 
It's your turn. Tell the judges why you should be Miss World. Salamat malam, Indonesia. In Miss World for me, treasures the core values of humanity and that guides her into understanding people, why they act the way that they do, how they live in their lives, and I will use these core values and my understanding not only in helping others, but to show other people how they can understand others, to help others, so that as one, together, we shall help society. Thank you. Philippines. Thank you. Thank you, Philippines. Next, I give you Ghana. Hello, Miss Ghana. Give her a round of applause. Looking pretty fabulous. Are you well? Thank you. Let's see what you've been up to, shall we? The Miss World organization embodies beauty with a purpose, and that is something that I want to identify with. I told my dad I wanted to do pageantry. He said, you want to leave medical school and do that? And I said, oh, it's, it's, it's a good avenue for me. And because of the things I want to do, I think it will also be good because I'll be reaching out to a lot of people. And he said, OK, if this is what you want to do, just go ahead and do it. I feel like I've reached a point in my life where I want to help people. I don't mind taking time off school to do that. So if I were to win Miss World, my first reaction, I don't know what I would do. Maybe I would scream, maybe I would jump, maybe I would do something crazy. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Ghana. That's a killer smile you've got there as well. I'll give you the judges. Good evening, Indonesia. I believe um, a Miss World should be someone who is a woman of substance, who is compassionate and who truly embodies beauty with a purpose. If I'm given this once in a lifetime opportunity, I'll wake up each day knowing that I have an image to keep to influence the lives of young people, especially young women, and to make an impact in the lives of the less privileged. Thank you. Wonderful. The crowd were very happy with that speech. Thank you, Ghana. Miss Brazil, come and join me. Lovely to see you this evening. Are you well? I'm happy and beautiful. Well, we're going to have a little look at what you've been up to, Miss Brazil. Desde que eu cheguei em Bali, o que eu mais gostei foi a simpatia do povo. Sempre com sorrisos e sempre cumprimentando e recebendo a gente bem. E é muito importante essa recepção carinhosa que nós tivemos aqui. A final do Miss Mundo, os meus familiares não vêm, porque é longe também, nós não temos condições de fazer toda essa viagem. Mas eles vão estar em casa assistindo pela internet e torcendo do mesmo jeito. Give it up for Miss Brazil. Miss Brazil, I give you the judges. We also have a translator here for you. Thank you. Salamat Malam. Eu vejo Miss World como uma referência mundial de valores. E o Beleza com Propósito mostra que o concurso não busca apenas beleza exterior, mas busca também uma pessoa sensível, de caráter e disposta a trabalhar para ajudar as pessoas que necessitam. Esse é o verdadeiro papel de uma Miss. Ela vê Miss World como uma reflexão dos valores que o mundo deveria ter. She likes the fact that it does not only focus on the exterior beauty, but also shows a sensitive person that is willing to work and help all the people that need. Eu sinto... Sorry. <laughs> only one more. Eu sinto que estou preparada e disposta a exercer esse trabalho. Eu sei que como Miss Ward, eu posso fazer a diferença na vida de muitas pessoas. Beauty open doors, but beauty with purpose Opens minds and hearts. Thank you. She feels that um, beauty will have a purpose. With the Miss World, that she's able to help many people. Um, and she thinks that she is, has the strength to uh, help many people through Miss World. 
and she believes that if everybody does their part, we can make this a better world. And as she said, beauty opens doors, but beauty with a purpose opens minds and hearts. Obrigada, Brazil. Thank you. Miss Spain, come and have a chat with me. Looking lovely. Okay, so before we have that chat, let's see how your journey in Miss World has gone. Now that I'm in the final, um, for me it's incredible. I'm happy because I have uh, achieved to show people that I have energy to do it. Um, Spain never has win a Miss World competition, so I will be the first in winning this competition, so it would be incredible for me. <laughs> Wonderful. So, Miss Spain, is that moment that you've been waiting for? Good evening. Well, I would like to say that um, to those people who really need help, I would like to say that with effort and with illusion, all in this life can achieve because they must fight for their dreams because I have to do it and it is possible. So I will give to those people who really need help all my energies, all my passion to make their life a little bit more easier and more happier. That's it, thank you. Wonderful answer, thank you. Muchas gracias. Thank you, Spain. And finally, up you come, Gibraltar. Cheering you on there, the great team that you have. Uh, this has been <laughs> quite a crazy journey for you because you probably got quite a big shock tonight, didn't you? Yeah, definitely. I didn't see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you think that this could ever happen or were you feeling quite sad, quite despondent backstage? Well, I wasn't disappointed. I mean, there are many other girls who were in the same position and I as well went to get changed for my traditional costume and they pulled me aside and I was given the news and I'm, I'm extremely ecstatic and I just want to thank everybody that voted for me. Thank you very much. Because, well, a lot of people did vote for you, so congratulations. You are the people's choice. It's wonderful to have you here and I'm glad whoever it was that grabbed you as you were running out the door changing managed to get you back here on that stage. So you get yourself together. Let's have a look at your journey here at Miss World. I'm 22 years old and I currently work in elderly care. My belief of um, the Miss World crown is it's not about having nice hair and having nice makeup or having nice clothes. It's more about getting down on your hands and knees and, and really giving back to, to the world because you are blessed that you have a great life yourself. My biggest influence in my life so far has to be my parents. They taught me just to be respectful and to be kind and to be humble, which is why I am the way I am. So I'm extremely, extremely grateful for that. Well done, Gibraltar. Well, you are the people's choice. What do you have to say to our judges to convince them that you should be their choice as well? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I believe I should be the next Miss World because I want to be Miss World for all the right reasons. The reasons being that I want genuinely to help people in need. I don't want to be Miss World so I can get my hair done or feel glamorous because those things aren't what help the disadvantaged. Those things aren't the things that change people's lives. Stuff like beauty from within and kindness are the things that change people's lives. And I truly believe that kindness is the language that the deaf can hear and the blind can see. Thank you. Well done, Gibraltar, and I think she proved clearly why she is the people's choice. And of course, thank you ladies. You can all just breathe again now. I know that was absolutely petrifying. Right, it's time now to leave the judges deliberating. In the meantime, let's go see what Daniel's up to. Well, I'm actually right here standing, you know, watching everything's going on, but it's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm glad I'm not a judge, actually. How do you actually decide between them? Whoever wins, her life will change forever. As last year's winner well knows, it's been a life-changing year for Wen Xiaoyu. And the winner 
of Miss World 2012 is the People's Republic of China. When I heard Miss Wen Xiaoyu and Miss China Republic, I was so happy, I cried. I have been many countries with Julia Morley. We went to Haiti uh, this year. It's very poor place there, and uh, because they don't have clean water. Now we have already helped uh, about uh, 12,000 people. I think this is um, our responsibility. We need to tell around the world, and uh, we do together to help them. Miss World uh, job this year is almost up. I want to say something to the next Miss World uh, 2013. Uh, enjoy your year and enjoy your job, enjoy your journey, and good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss World 2012, Wen Xia Yu. Well, we've just seen what a year it's been for you, but I know there's one dream you have yet to fulfill, and that is to sing Oprah on the big stage. So, tonight, before you crown your next successor, we're making this dream come true. When shall you? To join you in a special performance, we present the runner-up and the winner from the talent final, Australia's Erin Holland and Indonesia's Fania Larissa. After the 